last year I'd come over predominantly to play red ball cricket and Mm -hmm. we had a world star of Kane Richardson from Australia who was playing here at the time and I had done okay in the red ball and basically what Ken had said to me was we're enjoying what you're doing, we love what you go about, how you go about it. Um, Do you mind if you stay on for cover for Kane if he gets injured or sick or whatever and me being a young player first time over here was like absolutely like I'll play for free like <laughs> let me just play um and it so happened I think it was second or third game don't quote me on that I walked into training purely to get my red low ball loads up and the next day was the game and someone said oh, I'd just keep in mind I think it was Bilbo the captain was like just bear in mind um you might be needed tomorrow big fella I was be like, oh, that's strange. Anyway, get my spikes on, walks, he goes, just be ready to go tomorrow. By the end of training, it was found out Kane had COVID, wasn't playing at all. Everyone knew he wasn't playing. I sort of was the only <laughs> guy that didn't at the time and then got told I was playing and it was sort of like really rushed. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm playing tomorrow. How good, excited. Um, and so it was a bit of nothing to lose mm-hmm. for me. I sort of went out there with a free mind, I didn't have time to think and just was able to go to what I knew was successful back home and really just flourish. And I had a really good game. It was lucky. I, another story for you. I went to bowl my first ball, got all prepped in my head. I was nervous. I was like, right, just get the first ball out of the way. I'll be good. Start now and raining, (laughs) go off the field for about 30, uh, 30 minutes, come back on. And I, I think I, it's the longest first ball in blast history. (laughs) And I got a wicket with the first ball and I think it was just a massive relief. 